Hello, budget people, uh, budget pedal people. Honestly, I have not had a lot of good experiences with reverbs or generally digital pedals under 100 bucks. Especially reverbs, I usually think you have to spend a bit more money. There's an AD converter. Uh, the tails go way down in level, which means you're getting into digital noise floor. So if you're running 16-bit, that's a problem. 24-bit, of course, better. And you don't even know what I'm talking about. But these components cost money in a good quality. And you hear aliasing, you hear digital artifacts if it's shit. Now Fender did the Hammertone series. They look like so. Hammery, silvery paint. That's why Hammertone. Fendery knobs on it. Pretty cool design, I gotta say. Simple. The names are boring as hell. Top loaded ins and outs. Fendery knobs, which I really like. One big screw in the back to open it, to adjust some of them, or to put the battery in. Um, and the digital pedals are 86 yeah, or 85, and the analog pedals are 68. A really not bargain basement 30 bucks, but absolutely budget for a name brand, obviously made in Asia, of course. But who cares? If it sounds good, it sounds good. And I do think that the reverb which is aptly named Reverb, damn how boring, it delivers. We got a hall, we got a room, we got a plate. I wish it said HRP, but it doesn't. Big omission fender. Tone, well, it would be nice to say brighter, darker. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Normal and dark mode. Normal and dark mode. Why not an N and a D? That would at least remind you. But no, they saved on that paint. That's probably 0 0.04 cents they can save per pedal. Makes no sense. Love the knobs. Do not love that they don't have a line on it. Like, where's the middle? Well, the middle is going to be wherever 5 is. Then, on the other hand, time and dampening. Do you need a middle? No, not really. Level, do you need a middle? Actually, no. On this one, I don't really care. There isn't a center position that makes sense. So... Forget what I said. Again, we can see top loaded ins and outs. That's how a modern pedal is done. Totally cool, nine volt. You can run it on batteries. I'm running it into this, which is <laughs> the uh, Dream by Universal Audio effects pedals. It's a an amazing recreation of a deluxe reverb, which of course that's what we're uh, pumping the Fender into. Uh, Fender pedal. I have a deluxe reverb, but that's in the other studio, so why not use that because it's here at the moment. I'm playing it with this Ibanez Prestige AZ-N, AZ-2204N, I think. Very nice guitar, about 2,000 bucks. Thank you, Ibanez. It's a, it's a cool guitar. Now, on the Dream, we have a spring reverb. That pedal is 400 bucks. Comparing what we hear here with that spring would be unfair, but also Fender was clever enough not to do a spring because doing a digital spring recreation is extremely difficult and you will be judged on it. So not doing it is pretty clever. We have a hall, which I do like a lot. Level will increase the reverb, not the level of your guitar.
That's the tale. I love that. That's just amazing for a pedal of that price range. Absolutely love it. John, love it. Room. Wait.
we are done here. 86 bucks. I'm not shitting you when I say I think this is 100% the reverb. If I spend even under 150 bucks that I would put on my board, I cannot hear any problems, any artifacts, any aliasing, any noise, digital noise floor. I love how the ambient bloom in the back comes up. I love how you can use it subtly to just give your guitar a little bit of depth. From subtle to big, all three algorithms work. Easily dialed in with the normal and dampened and then the dampened, the normal and dark and the damp knob. Uh, very few controls and a lot of great reverb sounds. Again, this is a paid video, but I'm not saying that because, I mean, you heard the sounds. I cannot make these up. 86 bucks. I don't like that it's called reverb, but who cares? I cannot think of another box in that price range or even a little bit higher that will deliver like the Fender Hammertone reverb. I would even dare to say this is the star of the range of Hammertone pedals. If you don't believe me, don't. If you believe me, you're going to buy it, buy it. If it sucks after you bought it and you think I lied, please comment. Use my links to Toman and uh, Sweetwater, please do, because it helps me. Thank you so much for that. And we'll put animals at the end as always. Mm -hmm.